Hi everyone, I have my favorite pink nail polish video for you guys today. This is part of the Roy G. Biv series. I started a favorite nail polish um, sectioned off by colors series a really long time ago. Um, and then I did my favorite purple ones and then I just got busy and didn't end up finishing them. So I'm trying to finish all of these series that I have going. I have my favorite uh, Deborah Lippman colors coming. I have some uh, Rescue Beauty Lounge colors to show you guys. I have my beautiful beginnings of Deborah Lippman and Beauty Rescue Beauty Lounge. I have beautiful beginnings of some makeup brands to show you guys as well. So I just have all these like videos that I need to do and um, I finally am doing them. Just a little background into this series. The person that actually came up with this idea is Miss Holly Berries, um, who I talk about all the time. I pretty much mention her in every nail polish video. Um, she is one of my favorites on YouTube um, and she is also one of my very good friends. Um, <laughs> one of my best friends on YouTube, which I said before. Um, and yeah, I I just she came up with the idea I will link her channel down below because her channel is amazing and she's the one that came up with this so I thought I would just give her a little bit of credit for that um, but yeah I have my favorite pinks all in this bag so they're not gonna be in any particular order um, actually my very favorites are at the bottom of this bag because I kind of did that and then picked through the rest of my collection but I have all these pinks to show you guys today I'm just going to start picking from this bag and talking about them. Um, the first one is the Finger Paints color in Hue Left a Message, and it is sort of a mauve toned pink glitter. It's a micro glitter and a clear base, um, and this is one of my favorite formulas of glitter. I've talked about this type of glitter before on this channel, um, pretty much through all of my Roy G. Biv colors, as well as um, in other like random nail polish videos, and I just love this type of glitter. It's a super, super finely milled glitter, so it layers beautifully. It's uber sparkly on the nail. It's, this is a very girly color as well, so it's kind of all things girly in a nail polish. The next color is a color from L'Oreal, which was limited edition, so you can't, or at least I don't think you can find it anymore. It's the color in Silver Sparkle, and this is a very opalescent crushed shells type of color. It's a shell, it's kind of like an oyster shell pink color. It's a very delicate, very beautiful, very girly nail polish again. A lot of these colors you're gonna find are very sparkly because I happen to think pink sparkles is like the best finish of pink that you can get. Um, so yeah, I'm not gonna go too far into this one because you can't find it anymore. At least I don't think you can find it anymore. Um, but it's a really nice polish. I'm not a, typically a huge fan of L'Oreal's nail polishes, but um, this one I kind of made an exception for because it was such a pretty color. I have a ton of Essie polishes to show you because a pink video, in my opinion, would not be um, complete without Essie nail polishes. I have the color, this is one of my favorite nail polishes from Essie, as well as this one, and you can tell they are very, very similar. The first one is called Vanity Fairest, and it is a baby pink with a very, very beautiful shimmer going through it. It's not an in-your-face shimmer, it's a delicate sort of sprinkle of like fairy shimmer going through it and it's a very beautiful color. Um, it's a great uh, neutral if you want like a bridal neutral pink but it does have that slight sparkle so it gives it a little bit more of something special. The other one is the color in ballet slippers and now you can see that they are virtually the same nail polish if you look at them um, from a distance. If you look at them up close, Vanity Ferris is slightly pinker, but it's basically the same color. Um, ballet Slippers just doesn't have any shimmer in it. Um, it is a very ballet slipper type of bridal pink color. Um, it's so pretty. This is definitely more of an emotional favorite for me. It's my favorite. It is my first Essie nail polish. Um, it's a color that my mom and her friends used all the time when I was little and so I kind of mentally always had to have it. This one was one of my first sort of brighter Essie colors. It's the color in Splash of Grenadine which came out in their resort collection four years ago, and um, it is a beautiful sort of orchid medium toned pink color. By the way, Pantone's color of 2014 is basically this color. Um, it's really, it's kind of a subdued pink. It's not something that's very bright and summery. Um, it's got a little bit of um, a kind of, it's not ashy, but it's just not a bright pink. Um, it's really gorgeous on the nail though. 
I always get compliments when I wear this color. And then I have also another sort of subdued pink from Essie. This is the color in Ladylike, which is a mauve toned cream color. This is much dustier than Splash of Grenadine, for example. Um, it's a gorgeous color though. It's a great neutral if you're looking for a pink that's not in your face pink. And then for some brights from Essie, I have the color in Knockout Pout, which is a very, very bright, slightly coral toned cream neon color. Um, these colors I typically don't love on my skin tone, but I absolutely love this over the summer. It was very bright, very punchy, very pretty on the nail. The other one is the color in Watermelon, which is more kind of my speed of pink. It's a little bit more red toned, it's a little bit darker. Um, I'm not a huge fan of like corals on my nails, that's why. Um, but this one is absolutely stunning and it's just, it's great to use in the summer. You can transition it into fall because it's not too uh, bright, it's a little bit darker. I have two here from China Glaze. Uh, this one is the color in Flip Flop Fantasy, which is a bright coral pink neon color. It's my favorite neon that I own. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous. I may have mentioned this in my favorite coral nail polishes, but I'm bringing it up here because I absolutely love it. Um, and it's just, I think this is kind of like the ultimate neon polish that everyone should have. It's part of China Glaze's regular line, so you can find it anywhere. The other polish from China Glaze I have is the color in Something Sweet, which is a very pastel, chalky pink color. Um, this one, is my favorite chalk like chalky pastel pink because it has the best formula in my opinion it's also the shade of pink that looks the best on me it's not too of a warm pink it's not too of a cool pink I have some more neons because I think neon pink is kind of the most fun shade of pink aside from glitter but Glitter is a whole different story. Um, I have two from Color Club. This is the color in Warhol. It's a bright, slightly blue toned pink. It's not a cream. It's got a slight translucence to it, so it's a little bit more of a true neon. Um, this is the color in Poptastic, which looks very similar. Um, Poptastic is slightly lighter and has a cream base to it, so it's not so it's not kind of translucent, it's definitely more of an opaque color. I have this color from Sally Hansen from their Gem, Gem Crush collection. I believe this was from like a year and a half ago. And it is a clear base with a very um, dusty rose pink micro glitter and then silver pieces of hexagonal glitter. They're not huge pieces of silver, they're kind of medium pieces. Um, and this one is a beautiful layering polish. It goes on over polishes really beautifully. You can wear it on its own. I have this color from Urban Outfitters and this was their pink holographic nail polish and a favorite colors video would not be complete without a holographic nail polish from me because hollows are my favorite. Um, this is one of their hollow nail polishes that they came out with, they came out with silver, green, and pink, but it is a sort of pastel pink with a super strong hollow to it. Um, it's probably one of the stronger hollows that I've found, um, and it's very strange to say that from an Urban Outfitters nail polish, but it's just amazing. I absolutely love it. Color Club makes a pink hollow that looks pretty much like this. Almost every brand that makes holographic nail polishes has a pastel pink in it. Um, if you're into indie or international brands, you will be able to find a shade that's very, very similar to this. I will link my video on indie nail polishes down below that kind of describes indie nail polishes where you can get them. And in that video, in the description box, I have links to pretty much every indie nail polish seller. So um, go check that out if you're interested in indie polishes and where to find holographic nail polishes. And then I have three colors from Zoya to show you. This this first one is from the Sparkle Collection, and I mention the Sparkle Collection in every single one of my favorites, like color videos, because the Sparkle Collection was my favorite Zoya Collection, as well as one of my favorite overall collections of all time. This is the color in Allegra. There were actually two colors in that collection that were pink, and this one's my favorite of the two. The other one's kind of a lighter color. Um, this one, though, is a beautiful magenta pink color and it's a very very it's a it's a really opaque sort of saturated magenta pink it's not um it's not like dusty at all this is one of my favorite pinks of all time especially this shade of pink i particularly like on my skin tone i have this color in kissy which is sort of a similar color to um, allegra just base wise it's a little bit more red but this is a um 
a bar glitter. So if you're not a big fan of bar glitters, then you're not really going to like this one. But this is a very fine magenta bar glitter with um, pieces of hollow bar glitter mixed in as well as pieces of red micro glitter mixed in. So you get a really festive jewel tone on your nails. And then this one is the color Innova. And this is actually a darker pink like jelly base with a silver and pink glitter mixed in. Um, it's not the greatest formula, but it's definitely very pretty when it's, it's dry and on the nail. Um, I happen to have been going through a really nice glitter phase recently and not just glitter I, I've been liking sort of the jelly effect on the nails um, in the last kind of two weeks um, so this is definitely one of the polishes that I think of first when I want to do sort of a jelly nail polish um, manicure and actually I will link Holly's jelly sandwich manicure video down below because she made a whole video on that um, and how to do jelly manicures and um, this is one of the colors that I always think of first when I use or when I want a pink jelly manicure. I have three colors from OPI to show you and these were all limited edition so I apologize for that. Um, this first one is the color in Don't Burst My Bubble. It's another bridal pink. It's another baby ballet slipper type of pink. This was from their Wizard of Oz collection and um, these are, this is part of their like sheer tone collection. Um, they do a small sheer collection every like winter. But but this one is just my favorite of the colors that OPI has to offer because it has the best formula in my opinion. Um, my bottle of bubble bath is the worst and I just, I, I don't know, I don't like it. So um, I've tried a couple of other sheer baby pinks like this from OPI and this one always kind of ends up being my favorite. The next color is from the Muppets collection which came out three winters ago and this is the color in Excuse Moi. It is a pink, it's like a mid-tone reddish pink micro glitter and like sheer base with a ton of silver micro glitter and then a speckling of rainbow medium hex glitter and this one goes opaque in like three coats. Um, it's just a very glittery sparkle balm on the nail and it's just very girly. It's super pretty again. It's not sort of your typical shade of a glitter for a pink which I like. And then that leads to my other favorite. This is one of my favorite OPIs of all time. It is um, the color in Teenage Dream, which was from their Katy Perry collection. And this is a baby pink micro glitter in sort of a clear-ish, slightly pink toned um, base. And it has a ton of hollow, medium-sized hex glitter. And this is phenomenal. This is pink disco ball in a bottle. It's gorgeous. I have a couple backups of this and I think that they should have made this color permanent and that they should have made a million of these because it's absolutely stunning. It is my favorite pink of all time. Um, it's just, it's amazing and I am so sad that you can't actually find this regularly because otherwise I would tell everyone to go out and buy it immediately. I have one super high-end nail polish for you and this one's from Deborah Littman. This is the color in Some Enchanted Evening, sort of like a dusty rose, almost salmon type of pink glitter. Um, there is a pink micro glitter as well as a larger hex glitter as well as a like hollow micro glitter in there. This one I love layering over colors like Ladylike or other sort of very neutral colors like that because it it girls it up and makes it a little bit more glitzy without being over the top and then I have two indie polishes to show you guys these are both from Wicked Polish which is one of my favorite indie brands um, she actually recently started making nail polish again um, and she went on hi hiatus for a while because she was moving she took a little break over the holidays I think just because she had a lot of stuff to do again because she's a person that's making these nail polishes by herself and you know she deserves all the time that she wants um, but anyway she's one of my favorite uh, indie nail polish makers and it's because I originally found this color which is pox which is a white Crelly base is what she says it's between a cream and a jelly and it has a neon pink and neon orange glitter going through it um, and I originally saw this on Instagram a year ago 
I want to say it was almost exactly a year ago and I purchased it and it just blew my mind. It, I think she's the first person that I saw ever make um, polishes that have that neon glitter in them. And the other one is also from Wicked Polish in her like second generation <laughs> packaging. Um, she has new packaging again because she got like hollow labels and I think she just got a new logo anyway so I think she's going to get new packaging again. This is the color in Fairy Blood Spatter and it is a clear base with a really pretty sprinkling of pink micro glitter and then there's the neon pink glitter from Pox as well as some neon purple and it's all super dense in this clear base and it just layers like amazingly. It's so cool. It's so pretty. It's a nice mix on the neon nail polish. So those are my favorite pink nail polishes. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, I, for the rest of this series, I'm going to have neutrals and then I'll have like whites and blacks and silvers and grays, like that type. And then the neutrals video is going to have like brown and <laughs> bronze and, you know, neutral colors. And then I'll have maybe like rainbowy glittery ones. I don't know if I'll do a rainbow glittery one, but um, I might stick that in my like silver and white and black video. But yeah, that is it for this video. I hope you guys um, liked this video. If you guys have any pink nail polishes that you think that I should try, please let me know in the comments down below. I would love to hear them. I hope you guys have a wonderful day, evening, morning, uh, night, whenever you see this, and I will see you guys soon. I'm actually just going to make sure I haven't filmed this video before either because that's something I would do. Um, I've actually done that before. Filmed something, gotten halfway through it and realized I've already talked about it. Not just like a product, like the whole video. Uh-huh.